Hi, my name is Jamie Rue, and today I'm going to talk about the invisible life of Addie LaRue. Okay, so it's been a hot minute. Clearly, I have a new setup. I forgot how to do makeup. I don't know how this looks, but we're here. I had to come on today to talk about... Also, my desk isn't clean, so I'm standing instead of sitting as I probably typically will be. But I had to talk today about a book that I've been waiting for for a very long time. This has been my most anticipated read ever since I heard about it, since V.E. Schwab, the author of the book, tweeted about it. So I am super pumped and I don't have the book with me because shipping delays, because coronavirus, but I have read the book because full disclosure, I'm interning at Macmillan and I have been since like last September, minus the summer because they canceled the internship program because of coronavirus, but like I've been at Macmillan for basically a year, so that's a thing. Hi. I might make a video about that at some point, but also NDA, so I probably can't talk too much about it. I, through my boss, was able to grab an early copy of Addie LaRue back in like March, February, sometime around then. I, I read this book before I even, even had a cover, um, so I'm like very very excited about this book both because of what it's about and because of just how it's written it's beautiful and i want to talk about it because i want every single person on the face of the planet to read this book it is my favorite so i'm going to talk about it today i'm going to make this completely spoiler free when i have an actual book in my hand i will make maybe like a more spoilery version of this review where i actually talk about you know the real stuff i'm making this completely free of any affiliation for macmillan like all of these thoughts and views are my own macmillan has absolutely nothing to do with this i love them for giving me access to this book early and also they are currently my employer but like that doesn't affect this review whatsoever, and I just want you to know that. This book is about a girl named Addie LaRue who in like the 1700s makes a bargain with a demon, the devil, some kind of a dark spirit, and she gains immortality, but at the cost of being forgotten forever. So no one she ever meets or has met will remember her. She can talk to everyone in the room. If she leaves the room for a second, if they take her eyes off of her, they just completely forget her. Basically, she goes through her life like this for like 300 years. And then one day, 21st century, she meets a guy named Henry Strauss and he remembers her. And then basically this book kind of goes back and forth between telling her life journey and telling this like love story that forms between um Addie and Henry. This is an amazing book. I just want to say straight up, I give this book a 10 out of 5. Like it is so good. It met my expectations, but only because my expectations for it were so high, which I'm sure the author, if she ever heard that, would be kind of like not the most excited or like probably a little anxious to hear that my expectations for this were so high, but I had such faith in her because everything of hers that I've read I have loved. I haven't read all of her stuff yet, but I'm getting there. Um, my boyfriend just bought me the Shades of Magic series, so yes, I haven't read the Shades of Magic series. I know it's her most popular series. I just haven't gotten there. But yeah, this book is incredible. I'm going to be talking about some of the facets of it. If you want to go in with zero spoilers beyond the summary, stop here, but otherwise I'm going to be doing spoiler-free talking about this book. I want to put a content warning about this book up front. There are some po potentially triggering scenes in this book. There is some suicidal ideation. There is not quite sexual assault, but like sexually uncomfortable things that happen. And also there is like abusive relationships kind of throughout the book. So I would just caution you about that. This is definitely an adult book. It's not like a YA book. But nonetheless, I highly recommend. I think that those things are not there frivolously. They're there with a purpose. So I just wanted to warn you. This book is incredible. It is written just so well. All of the lines are so poignant. And it the themes it explores are so big and weighty. And the journey Addie takes throughout the 300 years is so large. And the story is still so intimate and contained. And it is it's just so good. Okay, so both of the main characters, in my opinion, the main characters, the the demon, uh, his name is Luke, is also a main character, but I, I'm referring to like Henry and Addie as kind of the more main characters because they're those two characters are where the main theme of time 
comes up of having enough time both of those characters the way they approach the time they have in their lives is so vastly different and it is fascinating to watch unfold Addie is a character who has all the time in the world now um, when she was a human, she didn't. And that was one of the reasons that she became immortal or wanted to become immortal because she wanted time. On the other hand, Henry is normal. He's a human, um, but he's a, you know, he's not immortal, but he's the type of person who wants new experiences, um, kind of contradictory to the more reserved person he is. He kind of wants to live life fuller than he's living it and it's both of those perspectives are just so fascinating to watch henry also has just the greatest emotional turmoil about not feeling like he's enough for anyone about constantly wondering if, if someone comes ahead of me or if some is someone better than me and actually not even wondering it's like proven to him people straight up say like blank person is better than you or like he's never enough for the people around him and it weighs on him so heavily and it's just it's that is one of my most favorite parts of this book it will stick with me so deeply and like the way the book ends and the way Addie's and Henry's relationship kind of unfolds that will stick with me forever those final lines the feeling it gave me that will stay with me this book is so much about what the author calls defiant joy and I think it's just so it's a timeless book but it also feels like the type of book that I wanted to exist right now it addresses some deep existential questions and also feels light in a way that it's not irrelevant light but it it's hopeful at the end and it's it's just so good I also just want to talk about the very casual bisexuality in this novel because I think that that was done very well. I just feel like, you know, it's something that affects the characters but then also doesn't really and it's just so refreshing to read um, what V.E. Schwab says is casual queerness. It's so nice to read that. There's always this like thin balance that authors struggle to strike between explaining too much about how this thing makes them different, how it affects their lives, and then also not emphasizing it enough. And I think this just did a good job of doing both. And I I really enjoyed it. I think that this novel was so brilliantly done. I love this book so much. It's my favorite book ever. I've ordered three copies of it. So by the time I'm making a video about it, I will have three copies of it, hopefully. Because um, I also got the Owl Crate edition, which maybe I'll do like Owl Crate unboxing. This is my favorite book. I want everyone to read this. It is so, so, so good. You see so much of France throughout the years. You see so much of New York. You see Addie grow and develop as a person. You see the span of life that someone who has lived for 300 years must have had. It's just, it's amazing. I feel like I can't say too much in this in this review. I've been excited for this book since like 2018 or 19, whenever V.E. Schwab first started talking about it. So there's a bajillion different editions of this book. Everyone is talking about it also. I just want to reaffirm that if you're thinking about buying this book, you should absolutely invest in it. It's totally worth it. It is my favorite book. I will be back hopefully soon with a spoilery, fangirly version of a review so that we can just talk about what happens in the book together because I've been waiting to do that with people since like February. I hope you all go buy this book. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to go sob about the fact that this book exists. Um, so yeah, bye!